I think we're recording. What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick follow-up video to the video that I posted yesterday um, because I've been working on a document that I call what I want to do and I wanted to share it um, mostly because it's kind of the result of the internal work that I did over the last couple of months and really a reflection of um, me learning more about myself, I guess. Um, basically, I fe felt inspired, especially with our upcoming move to Berlin, we're now in Berlin, um, to really sit down and decide what things do I want to do? How do I want to spend my days? What tasks and projects sound um, worthwhile to me? Um, and so I started this and I first started out by just um, writing down random things that came to mind and I shared some of them um, yesterday already um, but I wanted to reshare them. These are highly personal. Um, I don't think this is something that people should do or anyone should do. I don't think this works for anyone or everyone at all. These are highly personal things that I personally want to do. Um, so first one, figure out how to become financially independent. So that means um, figuring out how I can make $10,000 per month um, until I figure out how to um, make 10 million total. Because once I've made 10 million total, that means I can live um, on 10K per month for the rest of my life, um, which means I have complete freedom to spend my time however I want. And I think that is a very worthwhile um, thing to figure out um, because that allows me to really be completely detached from the chain of financial independence dependence um, and so that's one and the second one is financial financially responsible so figure out how to become financially responsible so what goes into that is like figuring out taxes and my insurances and saving money um, and all of these kind of things that I guess come with kind of what people say being an adult and um, they are partly, and I guess I can share that, motivated by starting to think about having a family. And I don't want to, you know, now it's not me anymore, just me. I have a girlfriend now and we're living together and we're doing things together. And I don't want to live a lifestyle where I'm always kind of living month to month. And obviously kind of the romantic, romanticized thing about being an entrepreneur is that you struggle and that you always scrape by until you have this massive success and now you're a billionaire. And I don't think neither of them has to be true. Um, like I think you can be smart about how to make money so you're not stressing about it and you're living month to month. And one month there's the good month and you can buy shit and the next month, you know, things things don't go so well and now you need to, you know, scrape by again. So I definitely want to make sure that I have these things figured out. Um, second thing, get a Kindle and download a bunch of books and read daily or as often as I can. Um, I bought a Kindle yesterday, it's arriving on Monday. I have a list of books that I want to read that I can show you guys. Um, really, what I'm really curious about right now are books by Nassim Taleb, any Stoicism books like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, um, the bio by Benjamin Franklin, for our work week, but a bunch of other things and basically read multiple books. Um, and kind of what I'm doing right now to read and learn. Um, Tim Ferriss put out a beautiful volume of letters written by Seneca. Um, there are three volumes and I downloaded all of them, so I'm reading them. And then as you guys see, this kind of, this mess of a browser, this is my fun learning curiosity exploring browser as I call them um, and this is just random things that I want to learn about this is a talk by Nassim Taleb skin in the game fascinating dude super smart um, I don't know Jordan Peterson stuff um, Jamie Diamond stuff Ray T Red Talk like relationship stuff um, just all kinds of stuff, stuff that I want to read about for work week stuff um, this is a project that I'm currently working on that I can show later. Um, so just learning, spending time learning and reading. Um, this, 
build up a library of Instagram accounts for value books that I read. I mentioned it yesterday. I can actually show the Instagram account that um, that I started um, reading the book Ego is the Enemy. So basically, I realized that the way I learn is that um, I take small things um, every single day and reminders. And so, Ego is the Enemy of Book. Um, so I turned, or I'm still turning, the book Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday into Instagram pieces of content. So I created these quote cards and um, took these um, text, the caption out of the book and scheduled them so every day there's a quote coming out. It's mostly for me because I want these daily reminders to keep my ego in check and hopefully maybe this is useful to other, other people and I want to do that with more books that I keep, that I read. Next thing is build myself, who I want to be through my reminders all to myself. So one thing that I started doing a couple of months ago and that I really took seriously, I would say over the last two months, is a notebook that um, I call reminders to myself. And I think I can just move the camera. And it's basically just a notebook of things that are who I want to be and what I want to be. Um, and reminding myself to be this. And some of these are by other people. Some of these are completely things that came up. I up with myself through, you know, going through a certain situation or through meditating. And um, some of these are, you know, a combination of both of these. And so one, one project that I'm also doing for myself is turning these into like actionable principles. Um, so here, here's my list that I started. And it's just a cumulate, accumulation of things that I want to remind myself of. Like take comfort in getting shit done when you don't feel like getting shit done. If I'm the person talking the least, I'm the person learning the most. If I'm the person being the most uncomfortable, I'm the person growing the most. Should is a red flag, stay naive, do the uncomfortable, true story or cool story to see the new and the familiar, replace normal with average, read books the way you read magazines, compound interest, you know, don't be angry, be honest, principles, you know, rules on how I want to live my life. So I want to keep building this out. And I actually started an Instagram account where I want to start posting these, um, these two um, which is called Finn's Note. There's nothing on it. Ooh, someone followed it. Who did it? Huh, someone followed this. All right. Um, inbox. Learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and get good at it. So I realized I want to start fucking working out because, um, yeah, I need to do it and I want to do it and my body wants it. So I want to learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They have an amazing studio here in Berlin called the Gracie, um, Gracie Berlin. And Gracie is actually the legendary family who founded Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And um, the dude who's running that gym got a black belt awarded by, I forgot the, the, the first name, but by a Gracie. So he's legit. So that's where I'm trying to apply to you. Um, meditate daily or as often as I can. Um, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day. And I'm really starting to notice the, the difference. And um, it's just so fascinating. It's fun. Like if you're doing it, I feel like if you're doing it right, it's fun and exciting. And um, it's fascinating. You, you realize how much you know. Like there's so much you can learn from yourself if you just fucking sit down and listen to yourself. We just never listen to ourselves. We're constantly engaging with something. Like our phones. Where's my phone? Like this thing. That's, this thing is a fucking killer to our mental health and how aware we are of ourselves and our thoughts and our emotions. I realized at some point in Bali that I was so out of touch with my emotions. I had no clue what's, what was going on. Anastasia was asking me sometimes, you know, about a certain situation, how do you feel? And I literally couldn't give an answer. You know, I could only give like the kind of like good, bad, sad, uh, angry, frustrated, like very unnuanced kind of 
um, description for how I feel because I didn't really understood how I feel. I could only put a word on it. I couldn't explain and give some color to it how I felt because I, I, I was so disconnected to this feeling. And so meditation was one of those things that helps. And the other thing is like spending way less time on this thing. Holy shit. Not only spending way less time on it, but actually this thing for me was a filler. For every second that I was not doing anything anything different. Like if I was eating on my phone. If I was out with someone and they went to the bathroom or the toilet or they ordered some food, I took this out and answered some message or some comments. If, you know, I'm standing in line in the grocery store, taking this out and doing some, I don't know, some random shit, opening Instagram. You know, every single second that I was not doing anything else was filled with this thing, which means there was not a single second where I was actually spending time with myself which is fucking scary. Um, and so just putting this thing away and just embracing the random moments in life where you can let your mind wander, you know, pooping, showering. The reason why we have so many ideas in the shower is because we can't take this fucking thing into the shower. The moment these things get, I don't know, fully waterproof or there's like a screen in the shower and you can just continue your Netflix show while showering everyone's gonna get so hyped about the efficiency of it and we will not realize how fucking unhealthy that will be for us you know how a lot of people have a lot of good ideas and breakthroughs on the plane on plane flights I have that too the reason is not because you're on the plane or because you're flying through the air the reason is because there's no Wi-Fi on the plane and so you can't fucking be on your phone and so you're forced on a plane to actually sit down and be be with yourself not distracted not doing anything else not working on a goal oriented task it's very important and i and i read up on that to do things that are non goal oriented because that activates the, fuck now I forgot the name, I think it should be up somewhere here, the default network. The default network um, in our brain and that's where ideas and inspiration happen. And if we're not doing that, then no wonder we have these breakthroughs only every couple of months or years when we're on a plane flight. That's insane. You can literally have plane flight thoughts every single day if you just put away your phone, you go on long walks, you meditate, you spend time with yourself, it's scary and it's uncomfortable, um, but you're not constantly engaged. So, yeah, that was a big ramble. Make time for experiment and try stuff. I want to try more different things because I realize I don't want to just do entrepreneurship. I want to try different things. I think I'm good at different things. I, th I think I'm good at a lot of things. I, th I think I'm decent at a lot of things. And I just want to explore whether there's potential for me to make a difference in it. And those things, here are some examples. Stand-up comedy, improv theater, politics. You know? So that's why I want to make time for it. Suffer more. This is kind of a special thing, I guess. Um, I recently realized um, that... For me personally, there is value in suffering, which means um, really causing pain to yourself um, proactively and intentionally. Because there will happen things in life where you will have to suffer and you can't control that. A person you love will die. You might get into an accident and lose a limb. Um, you might lose all of your money and be broke and have to live on the street. So. Life can hit you tomorrow in the fucking face and you'll suffer. And you don't want to be completely unprepared and, un, um, and helpless in this situation. And so putting yourself in a situation where you just have to build up mental toughness, um, I think will help me be prepared when any of those things happen, which will happen. Um, and sauna for example is one of these things like you can either go to the sauna to have some fun you can go to the sauna to sweat a little bit and feel good about yourself 
you can go to the sauna to actually get the physical benefit where there's like some you know time regime that you can follow and then you get the full physical benefit or you can just stay in that fucking hot room for as long as you fucking can and just sweat your heart out until it fucking hurts and then you go out and I think there's value in it go on weekly date with Anastasia get to know her and understand her better and make her feel loved and cherished every single day so prioritizing this is very important prioritize sleep I realized really how important sleep is for myself again it's one of these things everyone tells you prioritize sleep 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 a lot well there's also the other voice of like you know just fucking hustle sleep less sleep faster just work on five five hours a, a night or something um, but I notice when I don't get sleep even if I'm just getting six hours of sleep um, I'm not as creative so doing that document so that's this for example that's engaging on Instagram and LinkedIn and posting and doing all of that stuff and then go on long, long walks which is another time to really disconnect and actually reflect and that's the thing about reflecting you can't reflect if you set out to reflect because the way you reflect is getting your brain into default network default no, shit I forgot the name default network default brain is it here let's see John Locke <laughs> no the, the, those are some philosophers um, but basically you need to get your brain into non-goal or oriented task like you can't be focused on getting a task done that's when you reflect so if you set out and say now I'm gonna reflect you're literally like at least that's how I understand um, how the brain works obviously I don't know shit but that's it makes sense to me and that's what it seems like how it works on Wikipedia and I've noticed myself but you can't sit down and schedule you know on Friday or on Sunday from 3 p.m. p.m. to 4 p.m. I'm gonna sit down and reflect because now you have a goal-oriented task and that's holding you back from actually reflecting from actually internalizing from actually you know letting your mind wander in, coming up with ideas and letting inspiration hit you so you need to make time that are non goal oriented task to let those happen and then I did after writing this down put actually some hours behind it to see if I could actually fit all, all of these things into a day and so I thought you know I want to spend four hours on this and two hours on this and one hour on this basically do two to two times three hours per week which comes down to one hour blah blah blah, blah. And then I ended up with more hours in the day which sucks so I revisited some of these and cut down some of the reading time some of the this time take out suffering and make it into workout blah blah blah, blah. came down to this but this is just highly specific but I think it's valuable to actually understand like okay here are all the things that I want to do to do I want to do this is important I want to do not things I need to do not things I should do not things I have to do not things people tell me I should be focused on but people that intrinsically if you sit down and you imagine this is what your day is gonna look like you're gonna do these and these things are you fucking pumped to have that day and these are things that I want to do and so seeing does it actually fit into a day you know it turns out initially it didn't then I readjusted and then I simplified it and I ended up with this, with, which I think is much, much cleaner and much nicer. Um, spilling out my 24 hours. So, prioritize sleep, which means 8 out of the 24 hours in the day, I'm going to be sleeping. 4 out of the 24 hours, I'm going to be spending with Anastasia. Going on dates, talking to her, cuddling, having sex, doing all of the things that, you know, go into a relationship. And I'm very pumped about doing that. That sounded so weird talking about that. But yeah, you gotta make it a priority. That's what I learned um, through making some mistakes with that. Um, work, 4 out of 24. So that means anything Project 33, 
and anything that goes into fin financial dependency, independency and responsibility, which we talked about earlier. Two out of 24 hours learning, which means reading and, for example, setting up the reminders to myself, which we went over before. Two out of 24 hours on health, so that means meditating, Brazilian jiu-jitsu and long walks, for example, so mental health and physical health go into this. One out of 24 hours into side projects, so that can be the Instagram book accounts, experiments, trying new stuff, you know, going into a, um, doing a stand-up night, stand-up comedy night once a week or something like that, coming down to one hour per, per day. Um, document, one out of 24 hours. That is hard because I am still tending to just open Instagram randomly and spend time on that. So this goes anything and everything that I do on social media. Um, this, for example, goes into that one hour. And then two out of 24 hours, there's this ugly thing, filler space um, that exists in life. Things like commuting, eating, showering, groceries, you know, all of these things. Hope sh hopefully you can cut this down to as much as you can and um, combine that with other things. So, um, you know, you can meditate while eating, you can meditate while shower, um, you can learn or read while commuting, you can go on a grocery date, which Anastasia and I love to do, and uh, spend time together while doing groceries. So hopefully combining that, but this shit will always exist. So I hope I can cut this down, but this is 22 out of 24. And so, yeah, it came down to 24 hours. And this, for me personally, is useful because it basically tells me if I am not doing any of the, these things, I'm wasting my time. I'm not doing something that I personally, internally, really feel valuable to do. And also it gives me some idea of like how much time should I be spending on social media. And um, I can look back at my day and being like, well, today I spent four hours scrolling on Instagram. That was not fucking good. And unless you put this down, you can be like, well, What's the matter with spending four hours on Instagram if I enjoyed it, right? Nothing. The problem is, if you're spending four hours of Insta on Instagram, it means that you have three hours or four hours, but let's say you want to spend one hour on Instagram, you have three hours less to spend on other things. And we only have 24 fucking hours in the day. So this for me really helps me prioritize and um, look at this and kind of review my day. And this is completely new. I mean, this is the result, this list, and this split up, how I want to split up my time, because that's a decision, right? I could also put a two here, I could put an eight here, you know, this is a decision. Um, this feels right to me, and this is how I want to live my life currently, but this is the result of the past, past couple of months and weeks uh, on um, internal work and um, figuring out internal versus external motivators and um, learning more about myself. Um, but it's, it's something that I created a week ago. So it's also something that I'm still you know, optimizing and sticking to and, and trying to reshift re my day. And this is actually fascinating to me too because I realized that I changed a lot. Like six months ago, for example, this thing worked, there would have been a 10 here. Because I was like, you know, you got to work, like that's how you, you know, have an impact, that's how you, that's how I got myself worth. I was like, I got to work fucking 10 hours a day because that's, that's how amazing I am, like fucking working all day. But if I put a 10 here, like what does that mean? Like I can't do any of these things. All these other things suffer, you know. Obviously you, you cannot have a girlfriend, you can choose to not have a girlfriend, which frees up four hours, which I would never ever trade for anymore at all. Zero thought in my head. Um, Anastasia is the best thing that ever happened to me. And um, not only for her own sake, like for having her as a girlfriend and having this amazing person in my life, but on top of that, because she taught me so much and I learned so much about myself through this process of, you know, being in a relationship and growing this relationship. And um, I've gotten so much more effective and so much more efficient and so much better and so much more happy and um, in all aspects of my life. And so, you know, this is obviously new. You know, this is a big thing. 
for me. Like, and I think it's very important to deciding what you want to read because you can watch, you can you can justify a lot as learning. You can watch fucking. I used to watch David Dobrik vlogs and told myself I was learning about, you know, how to win on on YouTube. And you know that could be a reason, but it definitely was an excuse for me at the time. So, gotta be aware of like, I use like, are you really learning what will move you forward, and which which will really be knowledge that will um, accompany throughout your life, or is it fucking random ass shit that is not relevant anymore in like two months? Like reading the news, you could say like reading the news is learning. I would highly debate that. Because it's literally useless information in a week from now. Latest in a month from now. Um, if you're interested in politics, you can read, you know, political, you know, science stuff and understand how politics on a fundamental level works, but you don't do that by reading the news. So that's not learning. That's just, that's just pleasure. That's just a waste of time. So yeah, um, wanted to make the video just documenting that. And that's it. See you in the next video. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you